All right, what I'm doing is I've made my marks four foot and one foot in from the ends, four foot, which is middle, because these are eight foot. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, um, and I also took and took my drill with the auger bit on and I after I marked hopefully you can see this okay after I've marked this where I needed it I just drilled right into the middle just a starter mark for my other drill bit here what I did always measure make sure you measure from the same side that way there's no you're not getting any anything that's off so what I do I got my mark here at four foot so I transfer I put the square on there and I transfer my line down to the middle and right there is where I got to drill my hole so I take put this right there now I got a mark to start to run this drill bit I'll run halfway from this side and halfway from the other side and then I'll you know go through um, should have a little bit bigger drill bit than what the threaded rod is the all thread I don't so it is what it is and on this outside like I said before what I'll do um, is I'll take and uh, drill a bigger hole in here probably like a three-quarter something like that and then I can run a washer and a nut lock nut and a nut on there and clamp it pull it all tight after it's all glued and everything and then tighten it down and then I can take a piece of dowel and put in there and cap that and uh, you hardly ever see that it's even there so I jointed these edges um, I don't know if you can see let me turn this camera around you probably can't see it real well but square edge versus this this rounded edge you probably can't see it real good in the camera um, but it fits up real nice real nice and once I um, you can see there's a little bit of gap there but once I pull that clamp it pull it that'll be real nice and then what I'll do is I'll you know after everything's all done and everything I'll take and sand sand it down sand it smooth and uh, get all the marks and all the like the numbers and the wording and stuff like that you know get get this get this I don't this is just a pet peeve of mine nothing against Canadians at all I got some good Canadian friends but um, it's a shame when you got to have wood shipped in from other countries and we got a bunch of wood here in the United States, but we're chopping everything down so small that we don't can't get big lumber anymore. Anyway, that's my rant. So, all right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm gonna say something quick before somebody goes off on me. And blah 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 blah. Um, I have nothing against logging. Okay, that's not what my little rant was about. Um. I have absolutely nothing against logging. I, I used I logged for a little while, so I have nothing against it. But when they're cutting down trees like this, eight inches across, and uh, not letting them grow, and they're wiping out places that look like you're standing on the face of the moon. It's a uh, pretty pitiful. Pretty pitiful. No wonder we can't get uh, big uh, big lumber anymore. We got to have it shipped in. 
So, and all the mills are downsizing to handle smaller logs. Most of the mills can't handle big logs anymore because well, there isn't any. So they're downsizing. So, but like I said, I just want to make it very clear I'm not against logging. And I, because I, I logged for a little bit myself. So, all right.